So, hey everyone, this is Charlie, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about fear, because it's something that I have been really struggling with lately. I don't know, I've just had a lot of fear for myself and my personal safety. Um, my family's been feeling it. I've been just reading a lot of news and, like, hearing about just the terrible things that are happening in this world and at the end of the day when I look at it all together I've been scared. Um, personally I've had some instances where um, since as since I'm starting to pass more as a trans masculine person I've had people be more violent towards me and be more aggressive towards me um, the other day I had someone follow me, yelling, calling, like, calling me an it and, ye and like, yelling at me and, like, degrading me in this weird way. Then, um, I also went to one of those, like, Korean bathhouses, and uh, I've actually been going to this place for a few years. It's pretty well known in my local area, and while I was in there, I had people, like, whispering about me and then I had someone who said that it was child abuse for me to be in that space with their kid and I don't know things like that just add up um, that's brought me to the reality that I am on testosterone and more and more often people are beginning to perceive me as a male and even more than that as a black man and what that means for me. This has also coincided with the nationwide prison protest and my own brother is currently serving time in prison and it's just reminded me how real it is for black men out here and how disproportionately black men go to jail than white men and not because they don't commit the same amount of crimes but because Black men are over-policed in a way that white men just are not. That I am entering into that world and that I am affected one way or another. And it might not be something that shows up in my everyday life, but often it is. And those times just add up. And, and I've been scared and really needing to lean on the support systems that I have. So I wanted to take this time to highlight the, some of the top three support systems that I've had in my life during this time of fear. Um, first off, uh, I want to say God. I feel like I spent a lot of time on this channel talking about God and talking about my relationship with them and how it really brings together all of the intersections of my life. And I think that that's true and that's actually especially true even now in this time of fear because God is and has been my ever-present comfort in the midst of that. And uh, Beth and I actually every day pray the Lord's Prayer together. And one of the lines is, uh, deliver us from evil, but also give us our daily bread. And that's something that I see God do consistently, even for fear that <laughs> the opposite of fear is love. And I've been covered with an outpouring of love from God especially, but uh, number two has been my wife. Um, I did a video about Beth two weeks ago, and uh, I just can't even, uh, and I just can't even say how much I appreciate her, um, especially in this time, because she really does support me, and she gives me a lot of guidance, and uh, she's so wise and kind and, like, really supportive to be with and that's big for me uh, before one of the things that we often say within our relationship is that it's important to be seen and known and loved and that those three things combined really do go a long way to making somebody feel feel whole and feel like a person in themselves and and feel like they have dignity and worth and uh, Beth does such a good job of doing that for me and it's something that really does build me up and support me. Um, then I think the third thing that has really given me more support than I thought that it would is 
productivity and work and service and being engaged and being involved. Um, that's something that has always been pretty important to me. Uh, both Beth and I did an AmeriCorps year, which is very similar to the Peace Corps, where you go for a year and you serve with a nonprofit and you give back in that way and you get paid a stipend and it's it's a really great experience. I'll recommend it. I'm going to actually link to the AmeriCorps website below in case any of you are interested in making money and doing service. But in the midst of that, um, and just in my life before that, I fell in love with service and in giving back and I found how much being engaged and being involved really does go a long way to boosting me up and even when I feel the lowest, serving helps me to, I don't know, rise again and feel like I can overcome and feel like I can move forward and it puts me in contact with other people who are doing the same things. So. Um, that's something that I really would like to encourage all of you, if, if you're like me and you've been feeling a lot of fear lately, that you'll lean into those things. Um, if you do believe in a higher power, that you will lean into God and, and let, let that higher power take care of you. Um, but also doing that in the midst of community and with people who see and know and love you. And then also combining that with your own service and your own giving back in a way that's powerful and meaningful to you. Um, and with that being said, I also want to thank all of you for watching these videos and for showing up every week because uh, this is part of the ways that I feel like I give back. And even when I am fearful and when I don't have a lot of energy and um, don't feel like I can give anymore, it's great to be able to sit down and make a video and know that somebody somewhere out there might be able to look at it and say, oh, that's me too, or oh, I agree with that. And um, I think that is a service in itself, and I hope that through it, all of you out there feel seen in some small way, um, known in some small way, and fully and fully loved. So. Yeah, that's all I got to say for this week. Um, I'll be back next week with more content. I don't know what it will be about, um, but more to come. So, see you next time.